afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Live at Four on this Monday. It's Monday. How about that Saturday? Wasn't that incredible? Yeah, we're going to talk more about that coming it, up. It was in the a... biggest snowfall of the year. So yeah, far. so far. Yeah, and, it, and, and, and great that it was on a Saturday. It was yeah, so nice. Yeah, it's perfect. We'll yeah. get to that in just a minute. But, for, but first, here's what's topping our news today. You know how to get out the building. You know, these are conversations we shouldn't be having. We're failing our children. Three students and three adults are dead after a mass shooting at a school in Nashville. We'll have the very latest. Tonight is the Madison mayoral debate between Satya Rhodes Conway and Gloria Reyes. We'll tell you what you can expect. And political reporter Will Keneally is standing by to break down a few of the ballot referendums you'll find on the ballot next week. But first, let's take a look outside. The birds are coming back. Nice the, to see the sun today, nice and Canada mild. Canada geese washing off that, that storm over the weekend. The weather word's a little different late week storm coming. Greg's in the backyard. How's it different? It's going to be uh, more of a springtime storm, and that's why we have a alert day right now up for Friday for severe thunderstorms. There's a potential for that, along with heavy rain Friday afternoon and evening. So it's more of a springtime threat, but we could still see some snow on this. So best threat is south of Madison. If you have plans Friday, just stay tuned for their updates on that. In the meantime, we still got very nice conditions today. For the areas that don't have snow cover, you're in the lower 50s. Unfortunately for Madison with snow cover, we're still in the low 40s, but continuing to melt that snow away. Overall, just a light north breeze going on. Visible satellite still shows that snowpack, but it is starting to shrink a little bit. Other than that, we have a few high cirrus passing overhead. We'll have more of those clouds covered tonight. Overall, for your after your evening hours, temperatures should slowly fall back down into the upper 30s as we get closer to 7, 8 p.m., which is a few high clouds. Once again, warmer where you don't have snow, colder where you do have it on the ground right now. What ahead, we're going to start breaking down exactly what those storms mean come Friday and Saturday. And we might actually get 60 Friday for the first time. I'll show you how when a little later in the broadcast. All right, Greg, thank you. Well, first of four, three students and three adults have been killed in a mass shooting at a private Christian school in Nashville, Tennessee. Police say the suspect, a heavily armed 28-year-old woman, is also dead. Christian Benavides has the latest. Police rushed to the grounds of the Covenant School in Nashville Monday, responding to calls of an active shooter, encountering a heavily armed suspect on the second floor. We have identified the suspect right now, uh, tentatively a 28-year-old female. Nashville police say the suspect gained access to the school through a side entrance, carrying two assault-style rifles and a handgun. We have three adult victims, and we have three children who have been identified and their families have been contacted. I was literally moved to tears to see this and the kids as they were being ushered out of the building. The Covenant School, a private Presbyterian school, has about 200 students from preschool through the sixth grade. The violence comes less than a year after the massacre at Robb Elementary in Uvalde, Texas. It's hard to stop a determined person who's done their homework. Kathy Guider is a former FBI special agent. She came well armed, it appears. So the intention was definitely there. And I think, you know, the next question is, how did she get the weapons? Um, where did she get the weapons? Where did she get the ammunition? Faculty and parents had previously participated in active shooter training at the school. President Biden addressed the shooting Monday afternoon. So I call on Congress again to pass my assault weapons ban. It's about time that we began to make some more progress. Nashville police say the tragedy unfolded over roughly 14 minutes, and they're examining video from the campus. Cristian Benavides, CBS News. And authorities in Nashville say the shooting suspect was a student at the school in the past. The candidates for mayor of Madison will meet for one final time in a debate joint uh, a debate jointly hosted by the Capital Times and News 3 Now. Mayor Satya Rhodes Conway and challenger Gloria Reyes will meet for a one hour debate that will be moderated by News 3 Now's Eric Franke. The candidates will be taking questions from News 3 Now investigative reporter Naomi Coles and Cap Times city government reporter Allison Garfield. Thanks for being with us today. Absolutely. So how did you guys prepare for this? <laughs> a lot of coffee. Yeah, a lot of coffee, a lot of research, um, just kind of using both of our knowledge of what we've been covering so far in this campaign trail and uh, trying to figure out what people want to know. 
Absolutely. I mean, you know, you, you do a ton of local government reporting, so she's in the weeds of it. She's at the council meetings. Um, from my side, I've interviewed a lot of these candidates on For the Record. Um, I've done, you know, some reporting on some of the big issues in this race, things like BRT, other issues. And so I think it's a lot of, you know, we, we polled our, the public, too. How many was it that we had? We had about 85 responses from viewers and readers of the Cap Times. Um, submit questions to us about what they want to know uh, and we went through those and figured out uh what, what yeah. the questions that haven't been asked yet so far. That's yeah. nice, because then people in the community feel like they have a stake yeah. in the topics you're going to discuss tonight. And speaking of, what are some of the big issues you're going to be asking the mayoral candidates? Yeah, so without giving too much away from our hand, <laughs> um, I mean, there's been obviously a couple, one of the two, I think I would say two of the biggest issues that we saw in the questions and ones that we really mm -hmm. just talked about as we prepared was public safety and um, affordable housing, right? Mm -hmm. Those are issues that really you almost can't talk about enough in terms of what matters to people. Mm -hmm. um, I know there's also a couple of other hot button issues. Uh, yeah, BRT, bus traffic transit, um, some recent zoning changes the city has made, uh, just a few other things that we'll uh, get into tonight. Well, what separates the candidates? Oh, that's a great question. Um, <laughs> they would say a lot. Uh, they're, they're different um, and uh, they both have different perspectives on a lot of these issues. Um, they've really differentiated themselves in a lot of ways, and I think we'll hear that yeah. tonight. I mean, it's Madison, so I, I think they both have progressive leans in some respects, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of, when you get down to the nitty gritty, things like zoning, right? You've covered mm -hmm. a ton on zoning, and when it comes to the how those laws are applied, they have very different ideas. Does that impact a single family home? How does that impact renters? And so there's very different approaches they have in terms of how big issues impact individuals, and I think that's something we'll hear about a lot tonight. You can watch the debate. We're going to stream it live starting at 7 o'clock tonight, and then you can watch the entire thing. The debate will replace us tomorrow in place of live at 4. The hour-long debate will air right here at 4 o'clock, right here on News We've heard from past debates. It can get, can get quite fiery. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Good luck, ladies. Thank that's you. That's up to Eric Franke tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's his job. Thank, Thank you. you very much. We'll see you at 7. Whitewater police have arrested a woman they believe to be the mother of the newborn who was found dead in a field earlier this month. Whitewater police say the 39-year-old woman is currently being held in the Jefferson County Jail. Further details about the woman's arrest have not been released. Police say the woman may face charges of concealing the death of a child and resisting or obstructing an officer. It's not often that voters get a direct say in changing state law. But that's what you'll be able to do this April when you vote on a constitutional referendum. Political reporter Will Keneally has more on all this, Will. That's right. So the question comes from a viewer actually emailing into us asking what exactly is going on with the wording of two questions on the April ballot. So let's take a look. They both deal with how bail is set in Wisconsin. Now for background, right now, bail can only be set in Wisconsin to make sure that a defendant returns to court for their trial. But there are some other conditions that a judge can set, like no contact orders to prevent witness intimidation or other conditions to prevent serious bodily harm. So take a look at this first ballot question. This changes the standard from serious bodily harm to serious harm. That's what you'll see kind of towards the bottom here. Now the legislature last week defined that to include things like mental anguish or property damage. So not just in the bodily sense, but more of a general sense of serious harm. And again, this applies to those conditions once a defendant is out on bail. Think of it like once a judge can set those no contact orders once a person has paid their bond. So you'll also likely see at least one other referendum on your ballot, but for most voters, these are non-binding, essentially just polling questions. So these two on bail reform are the only binding referenda statewide. And we'll break down the other side of that bail reform question tonight at five. We will see you at five, Will. Thank you. As we get closer to F-35 jets coming to Madison's Truax Field, a group of protesters are still trying to block the, act, block the process. Protesters gathered outside of Truax Field this morning before moving to the governor's office at the state capitol. The group says it's concerned the F-35s might have effects on the climate and the sound from the jets might harm children. The group decided to gather outside of the governor's office because they feel he has the power to halt the process. I'd say the world is in... in very critical shape with climate change, with the threat of nuclear war that, that, that is exasperated by things like this. 
uh, that we need to make changes, make serious changes. This has been a highly controversial issue since it was announced to the public in 2017. And now, just a few months from F-35s becoming a reality at Truax, our Andrew Banstra will walk you through the protesters' message coming up tonight at 5 and 6. Dane County officials believe they have the money to go forward with the much-debated jail consolidation project after getting an updated estimate on what it's, the cost will be. In a memo to Dane County Board Supervisors today, Dane County Executive Joe Parisi said the proposed plan of building a tower adjacent to the public safety building close the 70-year-old jail in the city county building would cost about $179 million. In a phone call with News 3 Now, Board Chair Patrick Miles said he is cautiously optimistic that the resolution would get the needed 25 votes at the next board meeting on April 20th. A shooting in Milwaukee earlier today left five men injured. Police said the victims were hospitalized with non-fatal injuries. It happened outside a restaurant and bar. Not many details have been released from Milwaukee police and authorities are still investigating. Israel's main labor union says it'll call off a nationwide strike after Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu delayed a vote to overhaul the nation's highest courts. The Prime Minister says that he will hold off on a judicial overhaul plan, which has set off strong protests. He said, quote, out of national responsibility from a desire to prevent the nation from being torn apart, I am calling to suspend the legislation. Thousands of demonstrators have been protesting the plan which would give Netanyahu more power over the Supreme Court. The right-wing government coalition says it's necessary to limit the influence of unelected judges, but critics say it destroys the system of checks and balances. The first people that will be hurt uh, when our democracy becomes a dictatorship in Israel will be the women. The move to delay the judicial reform may not be enough to quell the demonstrators. The Biden administration has avoided taking a strong stance one way or the other, but did praise Netanyahu's decision to delay the legislation, saying compromise is the best way forward. The strikes and protests have prompted Israel to close embassies around the world, including the U.S. Embassy in Washington, D.C. Well, today was a great day, not only for the village of Oregon, but also for Craig Culver. Culver's Restaurant on Park Street in Oregon had its grand opening today. This brings the fast food haven significantly closer for residents of Oregon, as, they, as before before they had to drive to either Madison or Stoughton to get their butter burger fix. There's just something different about Culver's, you know. Um, I just think the, the quality of the food and just the friendliness of the staff. And, um, it's, it's, it's different than your normal fast food type restaurants. Craig Culver, the founder, of course, credited the man he called Mayor Randy, Village President Randy Glish, as well as one of the biggest reasons for bringing Culver's to the village of Oregon. Buddy, Butterburger's all around. <laughs> well, it turns out money can buy happiness if you spend it right. Our happiness expert, Dr. Christine Whelan, has some tips for us when Live at Four continues. I think running in the snow makes you happy, mm -hmm. apparently. <laughs> Watching News 3 Now, live at 4. Right now at Planet Fitness, you can get that big fitness energy for just $1 down, $10 a month. No commitment, cancel any time. What a deal! That's right, enjoy tons of equipment in the Judgment Free Zone. For just $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment, cancel any time. Deal ends Wednesday, April 5th. Brothers Maine has been family owned since 1938. Some of us were born into this family and others chose to join through the years. Now we know you can't replace family, but you can replace appliances and Brothers Maine is here for you when one breaks down. Our in-house team has delivered ranges to washers, to refrigerators, to hectic households in a pinch, oftentimes the next day. Just because an appliance breaks down doesn't mean you have to. We're not Big Box, we're Brothers Maine. And we want you to feel like family here. Stanley Steamer loves Madison, Wisconsin. I'm Paul Ashick, local owner of Stanley Steamer here in Madison. We've been proudly cleaning your homes and businesses for over 30 years and will continue to keep your carpet, upholstery, area rugs, hard floors, and air ducts clean for many more. We strive to provide the best quality in both the services we provide and the equipment we use. That's why you've trusted us to keep Madison and southwestern Wisconsin homes cleaner, healthier, and more beautiful place to live. Call and book a cleaning today. Stanley Steamer, it's your home cleaner. 
A man brutally attacked and sexually assaulted a woman. The victim spent endless nights unable to sleep, plagued by nightmares. Judge Janet Protasewicz called the offender many females' worst nightmare, but she cut his sentence to only two and a half years in prison. Judge Janet's dangerous judgment puts our families at risk. That's why sheriffs throughout Wisconsin support Dan Kelly. He's the only candidate we can trust to keep violent felons off our streets. On April 4th, vote justice Dan Kelly. Fair Course America is responsible for the content of this advertising. Creating family memories is what Maple Leaf Landscaping is all about. We design and build outdoor spaces that bring people together. Landscaped spaces for any size family. Functional, beautiful, a place everyone will enjoy. And it all starts with a free visit at your home by one of our landscape experts. So call Maple Leaf Landscaping today and have us create an outdoor living space for your home. There are so many things we take for granted. And along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for granted too. How can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living? And through no fault of their own, they're being left behind. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy and water providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. Low E has hurt my performance in the bedroom. I haven't been able to make the bed in years. At Planet Fitness, there's hope. With tons of energizing equipment in our judgment-free zone. Join for $1 down, $10 a month. Cancel any time. Deal ends Wednesday, April 5th. Well, get ready to look up to the sky. A planetary parade mm. is coming. This is pretty cool. The alignment of Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Uranus will become visible on Friday and continue over the next couple of weeks. It won't look like that. No, it will not look. That would be really cool. Onlookers should be able to catch the best glimpse of the five-planet alignment tomorrow evening just after sunset. We'll have to ask Greg if it's going to be clear tomorrow night. It will be visible just just underneath the crescent moon across the northern and southern hemispheres. Alignments like this one appear every few years or so. An expert says this one will be visible to the naked eye, even in urban areas that have significant light pollution. Have to look. That'd be very cool to mm -hmm. see. Well, Twitter says part of its source code was posted online and exposed until Friday. That's when Twitter had the material removed from the web. Twitter's source code is the proprietary programming that powers the platform and its internal tools. Excerpts of the code were posted to the online software repository GitHub. The code appears to be the only material posted on that account. It was posted by a user identified only by the handle Free Speech Enthusiast. The social media giant has filed for a court order to hunt down the source of the leak. Well, the number of places that accept tips for services is up, but gratuities are going down. According to Toast, a restaurant management-based software company, close to 50% of fast food restaurants now ask customers if they would like to give a little extra to the staff. That's a 10% increase from three years ago. However, Americans are being tight with their wallets, mostly because of inflation. During the last quarter, the tip percentage at quick service establishments like McDonald's and Starbucks was 15 percent. Well, stocks closed mixed on Wall Street. The Dow Industrials gained 194 points, closing at 32,432. The Nasdaq lost 55 points, but the S&P 500 added six and a half. What's the age-old question? Can money buy you happiness? Well, apparently you can buy happiness if you spend your money right. There are three top ways you can use your limited resources to actually maximize well-being. Our happiness expert, UW-Madison professor Christine Whelan, joins us via Zoom from Arizona. Zona. Good timing. Hi, Christine. How warm is it there today? Oh, it is beautiful and sunny, but you're enjoying the snow, right? Well, it's, it's melting quickly. It's sunny here, so not quite Arizona sunny, but all right. So three things. What Make it a treat? Yes. So, for example, this sunshine in Arizona is really kind of a treat for me because uh, I hadn't really gotten it for a lot of the winter in Madison. So it turns out that we tend to value things that are more scarce, and we have this 
trend called hedonic adaptation, which is we get used to the good things that we have and they're not giving us the same pleasure anymore. So anytime that you can make it a treat, make something a little more scarce in your life and enjoy it when it comes, you can really use your limited resources, of time and money to get the most bang for your buck. Is that something, is that the same way as saying like, use your money for experiences rather than for things? Is that sort of what you're saying? So yeah, that is a really classic thing that everyone says, except that if you do an experience over and over again, you're going to get used to it. And so then spending money on that experience won't give you the same pleasure. So yes, spend on experiences, but make it a treat. Do it not all the time, uh, but in a way that can really matter to you. Okay. So you should love your future self? Ah, so this is one of the things we do a lot. We tend to engage in what academics call hyperbolic discounting. And that's where we discount our future selves and prioritize our present selves. So for example, I would tell you, yeah, I'm totally free in May. I don't have anything on my calendar. Sure, let's put it in, but I'm really busy right now. Well, when you do that, then that week in May gets really packed and you say, oh my goodness, why did I do that to myself? So anytime we can love our future selves and invest in our future as well as doing something nice for ourselves today, more the better because that future self is gonna come. What is your third tip? Seek uh, safely and purposefully yeah, so one of the things that's wonderful about all the advice on happiness and well-being that's out there is that it can give you a lot of great ideas, but not all of it is research-based and not all of it is sound. It turns out that everything that might have the power to transform your life for the better also could have the potential to harm you. You know, if you believe it's good powerful, it could also be bad powerful. So seeking safely means being a conscious consumer and asking, are these things really in keeping with my values or am I just following the latest trend? So if you make something a treat, if you really think about your future self and uh, as you make choices today, and if you seek safely, these are actual researched ways, not just bubble baths and, and all those bits of advice, but these are real researched ways you can maximize your happiness and spend those limited resources to have a better you. No buyer's remorse. That's what we're going for. <laughs> <laughs> Christine, thanks for being with us today. Thank you so much. See you again soon. We'll see you next time. Well, you know, happiness can also come in the form of a furry friend. We'll meet our pet of the week from the Dane County Humane Society. Coming up after Greg's first warm forecast. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. It's Stop the Madness Month. If your energy bills are too high, stop the madness. If your comfort is out of balance and you go straight from heat to AC, stop the madness. If you've had it with outside noise, stop the madness. Get insulated now and save up to $2,000 with the energy tax credit plus our madness discount. But the clock runs out at the end of the month, so call today. USA Insulation. Family's just very important. She's my sister, and we depend on each other a lot. She's the rock of the family. She's the person who holds everything together. It's a battle, you know, I'm gonna be there. Keytruda and chemotherapy been treated in my cancer with two different types of medicine. In a clinical trial, Keytruda and chemotherapy was proven to help people live longer than chemotherapy alone. Keytruda is used to treat more patients with advanced lung cancer than any other immunotherapy. Keytruda may be used with certain chemotherapies as your first treatment. If you have advanced non-squamous, non-small cell lung cancer and you do not have an abnormal EGFR or ALK gene, Keytruda can cause your immune system to attack healthy parts of your body during or after treatment. This may be severe and lead to death. See your doctor right away if you have cough, shortness of breath, chest pain, diarrhea, severe stomach pain, severe nausea or vomiting, headache, light sensitivity, eye problems, irregular heartbeat, extreme tiredness, constipation, dizziness or fainting, changes in appetite, thirst or urine, confusion, memory problems, muscle pain or weakness, fever, rash, itching or flushing. There may be other side effects. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions, including immune system problems. If you've had or plan to have an organ or stem cell transplant, receive chest radiation, or have a nervous system problem. It feels good to be here for them. 
Living longer is possible. It's true. Keytruda from Merck. Ask your doctor about Keytruda. This is how legends are made. Chevy Silverado and new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all Silverado 1500 pickups. And current Chevy owners get 2500 cash allowance on this Silverado with a turbo high output engine. Chevrolet, the number one selling brand in Wisconsin. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy an air conditioner. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase an air conditioner and a furnace at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. We'll take a look at this. This cheesecake comes courtesy of a 3D printer. Columbia University engineers turned their lab into a regular cheesecake factory using 3D printing technology to create this seven ingredient vegan dessert. This cheesecake was no easy bake. Multiple attempted attempts ended up with gloppy, goopy, and downright sloppy until engineers figured out a, a dash of lasers used at the end to finish the bake and their high-tech take on the famous creamy cake. Well, then you get to eat all the rejects. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So Greg is here now, and a Saturday, I guess, a classic case of it depends where you were. Uh, very much so. If you were 60 miles west, it was totally different. Nothing snow. I mean, we were doing lacrosse, so all the half the viewers had nothing. The other viewers said were dumped on. But that kind of gives you an idea. 12.1 is not just a daily record. That is a monthly 24-hour record, and it's in the top 10 for all time. That's how hard it is to get that amount of snow. Going back to 1884. Hours. Yes. Wow. So, as you see on the left, that's what we actually predicted, six plus inches, Madison just southeastward, which six inches would have been a record too. So end of month March record is pretty usual. As you look at what actually happened, it shifted a little bit further back to the northwest, but that tight gradient kind of still remained between Madison and Lone Rock. You went from 13 to nothing. And then to the east, they had a little bit of a dry slot to the southeast in Kenosha and Racine, and that's why they didn't have as much there too. So that's what kind of happened. So if you look at, yeah, what went right, the sharp cutoff was right on. The timing, the heaviest snow, we thought it would be about 6 to 10 a.m., which it was, came down almost three inches of rate at one point. Uh, road conditions by the afternoon turned out to be wet as expected too. Unfortunately, yeah, we the location shifted, and it's been shifted back and forth for the last several days. The amounts in six inches was way too low. Obviously, we got 13 inches. Well, in six areas. plus is accurate. Yeah, well, <laughs> like I said, you don't hardly forecast for records. That's a hard thing to do in the mm -hmm. forecast business because you're probably going to be wrong, guaranteed. And then road conditions were much worse just because of the higher snow rate. So it's one for the record book. Like I said, to get 24 hours of snow, and really that was in like eight hours, not 24 hours. It was amazing how heavy it was coming. Yeah, down. that's what we call it the West. It was puke and snow. <laughs> get that. It was such a memorable day, though, because by four or five in the oh, yeah. afternoon, it was all gone. Birds are saying this. Yeah. March <laughs> snow is is the good thing it wipes away pretty quick so yeah. uh, like I said but you can see on satellite I mean it's a very narrow gap and if you go down to Iowa it's even narrower I mean wow. even smaller there's a Saturday oh, I know it was nice for while it lasted those of us who didn't have to work exactly yeah. all right so looking ahead we're done with the snow uh, no okay <laughs> <laughs> no but we might deal with the other s-word severe weather here coming Friday wow. I'll break down and what to expect the rest of the week including a wet Friday Backyard living season is coming soon. Coolview has great solutions to beat the backyard blues and save 15 to 25 percent. Cover your deck with a screen porch, an enclosed porch, or sunroom. If you have a screen porch, let us turn it into an enclosed porch. Shade your patio with a pergola or awning. All on sale now. Let Coolview show you how to tame your backyard blues. Call now for a quote before the sun sets on savings. Get a new view from Coolview. On abortion rights, do you want extremist Dan Kelly holding the gavel? Kelly wants abortion banned even in cases of rape, incest, and the health of the mother. He'll uphold the 1849 criminal abortion law that allows doctors and nurses to be jailed for performing abortions. And he'll strip women of their freedom to make their own decision on abortion. So don't give Dan Kelly a gavel with your vote. He's just too extreme.
With Dad's arthritis, he needs extra help around the house, so I called a Grace. Yes, a Grace. With their age at home service, he can stay at home. home. That's where I want to spend these months. <laughs> with hospice care from a Grace, I can stay home with my dog and my grandkids and their laughter. laughter. I had no idea <laughs> laughter could be a part of my life again after Joe died, but through a Grace, I found hope and healing. A Grace, caring every step of the way. Lake Ridge may be a new name, but it isn't a new bank. It's one built on over a century of community commitment. One equipped with all the knowledge and resources of 145 collective years of experience. Monona Bank and State Bank of Cross Plains are coming together as one. As Lake Ridge Bank, we're doing more together for you. At Affordable Dentures and Implants, we make new smiles affordable for everyone, so you don't need to wait another day to get your smile back. Click or call to schedule your new smile consultation today. Go ahead and smile. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Yeah, we go from one S word, now we're going to deal with the other S word this more in the springtime, and that's going to be severe weather. There is the potential, depending on the track of the system, that we could see some stronger storms come Friday afternoon, wind, hail, even heavy rain, too, is especially one concern just because of how high rivers and creeks are this time of year. Plus, the ground is pretty saturated, so be aware that Friday afternoon evening could be quite busy. In the meantime, for Wednesday through Thursday, but prior to we get that, we're going to have some snow showers for the AM commute. Could be a little bit about an inch or so. Definitely cold Wednesday, and then things start turning around once we get to Thursday. With a little bit of showers going on, better shot probably towards the evening and overnight, you'll start picking up on the rain or even thunderstorms. It's a little different story when we go to Thursday night through Friday. Widespread rain, once again, rises in creeks and streams, depending on how much we get, could be an issue. Thunderstorms likely. If something pans out right, we could get some strong ones, especially in the afternoon to early evening. And yeah, we could change back to snow once again for Saturday, although we're not expecting anything like last Saturday, we could be waking up to snow again once time. Really, the system that we're watching for Wednesday is up, parked up there to the northwest. It's going to take a southeastern route, get here at about eh, Wednesday morning, just heading just south, fairly weak. It'll drag a cold front through. That's where we get the snow. The system for Thursday, Friday is the one out to the west. It's just starting to impact the west coast, so that'll take its time to get here. So in the meantime, we do have that little bit of snow. But for tonight, we're looking at temperatures and climbing back down, falling back down into the upper 20s, low 30s by the time we get up, uh, you get up tomorrow morning. Overall, just a few clouds to see here and there. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon should be warmer. We should be getting up to the 40s, mid 40s for most locations. Once again, areas to the west will probably be in the upper 40s to near 50 because of lack of snow. And then Tuesday evening, we're starting off dry most of the night, but then we have that little line of showers coming through. That front's going to be coming through about after, eh, after midnight and then swinging through for the AM commute Wednesday right over the area. So when you wake up Wednesday, we could be dealing with a little bit of light snow, some accumulation possible. It won't be coming down that heavy, but something to keep in mind of for that time frame. That'll set up a cold Wednesday when our temperatures will struggle to get into the mid-30s, definitely more February-like. Severe weather potential, Storm Prediction Center. This is fairly rare to have this far north, and this, this is five days out. This is the only two categories they actually put on this. So to see 15% is pretty good. To see 30% is really unusual, so that's why we do have the alert day for that. Potential rainfall, this may be on the high end, but we could see one to two inches depending on where places head actually further southwest. So once again, we will see some significant rainfall with this event, how much to be seen yet. But overall, there's your alert day for Friday for the severe potential. The good news with that, we will probably hit 60 for the first time this season, but then we're gonna drop back off for the weekend and then another wet system comes next week. And first, we just can't get out of this wet, wet pattern. It just seems like one day of dryness and we're back into it. All right, Greg, thank you. It's time for uh, the pen of the week from the Dane County Humane Society. Amy Good is filling in for Lisa this week. Good to see you. Amy, Thanks good for coming to out. see you. Who did you bring <laughs> along here? Look at this, sweetheart. This is Yuki, and she's made herself quite comfortable on your lap. <laughs> <laughs> is, she, she, is she asleep? She, maybe? Her eyes are kind Close. of... 
She's 13, but in great health. She is in really good health. Um, thanks to our community, we have a great vet team that can take care of her animals before they go up for adoption. And she just did have a pretty extensive dental, but everything else looks really good. So how did she come to the Humane Society? We actually found her as a stray somewhere in like the southern Fitchburg, Oregon area. Aww. And her family didn't come forward to claim her. So now she's available for adoption. She, and she, she has a microchip, mm -hmm. right? Wow. And you called and no response. Right. It was a dead end, unfortunately. That's too bad. She's in remarkable health for 13 or 14. She is. She might be sleeping now, but yeah. we did take a little walk right before she came in. She was, and... she was running around here during the weather. Yeah. So. She oh, she's, just has the sweetest <laughs> disposition. So friendly. She just wants need to a be camera snuggled. Over here. <laughs> yeah, she just wants to be snuggled. It appears she's also house trained. Yeah. She um, is there great she is. about riding in the car. So she's going to be a really easy dog for somebody who wants just kind of that instant pet. About 10 pounds or so? She's about 14. Oh, oh! Now we're here we go. Up. Oh, here we go. Don't talk. <laughs> don't talk about a lady's weight. Sorry. Now, see, now she's upset. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Camp Pawprint is filling up. It is. So it's spring break now. Oh. Maybe the kids are home and you're like, oh boy, we better make some plans for summer. Camp Paw Print still has some openings. So kids ages 7 to 12 can come to our campus and have a really great time with some day camps. That's a great experience just, for just the kids. Just a few spots yeah. left. All right, last week, Madeline. She had somebody waiting for her the next day, oh, right at noon, so and went home. I'm so happy to hear that. That was the sweetest cat yeah, she ever. Had, she had some issues, too, but right. now you're up. Hey. And this one is another Good sweetheart. Morning. What, did we talk about what breed she is? Maybe like a little Shih Tzu mix? Do we think? Do we think? What do we think? Your guess is as good as ours. So I, I think we have her listed as a poodle mix, but she's some she's sort of toy 100% cute, I'll tell you that. 100%. Oh. And she's going to need grooming, too. I mean, she is. she's a non-shedder. Right, so she definitely will need regular care for her coat. And uh, will she, is everything otherwise, health-wise, is okay? The teeth are okay. She had a little dental procedure, oh, as right? she said. But... She has like four teeth left, I think. <laughs> That's all you need. It's fine. That's She'll be great. Um, but everything else looked really good for her age. So oh, she should she's be She's got some really good years good. left. She should. Amy, thank you. <laughs> thank she's you. so sweet. <laughs> adopting Yuki, checking out all the other animals at the Dane County Humane Society. Go to giveshelter.org. Coming up next year on Live Before, we celebrate the young and the restless 50th anniversary by taking a look through the years. And then coming up next hour at 5, our Kathleen Murph breaks down a $50 million ballot referendum for schools in Deerfield. We'll have that story coming up at 5. On abortion rights, do you want extremist Dan Kelly holding the gavel? Kelly wants abortion banned even in cases of rape, incest, and the health of the mother. He'll uphold the 1849 criminal abortion law that allows doctors and nurses to be jailed for performing abortions. And he'll strip women of their freedom to make their own decision on abortion. So don't give Dan Kelly a gavel with your vote. He's just too extreme. Hey, I just got a text from my sister. You remember Rick, her neighbor? Sure. He's the 76-year-old guy who still runs marathons, right? Sadly, not anymore. What? You mean... Mm-hmm. Just like that. Wow. So sudden. Um, we're not about to have the we need life insurance conversation again, are we? No. We're having the we're getting coverage so we don't have to worry about it conversation. So you're calling about the $9.95 a month plan from Colonial Pen? I am. We put it off long enough. We are getting that 995 plan today. Is it time for you to call about the 995 plan? I'm Jonathan from Colonial Pen Life Insurance Company. Sometimes we just need a reminder not to take today for granted. It could be the death of someone you know or a health scare. That's why today could be a great day to call for free information about Colonial Pen's 995 plan. If you're age 50 to 85, you can get guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance starting at just $9.95 a month. There are no health questions, so you can't be turned down for any health reason. This is permanent coverage. Just pay your premiums for lifelong security. The 995 plan is Colonial Penn's number one most popular whole life plan. Options start at just $9.95 a month. That's less than 35 cents a day. Your rate can never go up. It's locked in for life. Don't put it off. Take the first easy step. Call today for free information. And you'll also get this free beneficiary planner. So call now. 
Call 1-800-290-3399 for your free information and free gift. That's 1-800-290-3399. There's no risk or obligation. That number again is 1-800-290-3399. 1-800-290-3399. Call now. Hello, Colonial Pen. New at 5, Will Keneally breaks down your ballot, highlighting what the legal jargon of the referendums really means and what happens with your vote. As has been the case, there's another late week storm in the forecast that merits an alert day. This one will be different as we may be facing the threat for severe weather instead of a winter storm. At 5, I'll take a look at what types of severe weather we may be facing. And ahead at 6, in a continued effort, some Dane County residents renewed the call to halt the transition to F-35s at Truax Field. Why the push? Tonight at 6. Given the weather satellite of spin, we end up in Cincinnati. 60 degrees there. That's a nice shot of the skyline we haven't seen before. Order some chili. Yeah, good. With, with noodles. Good town. Well, daytime TV's number one drama for more than three decades is hitting a major milestone. The Young and the Restless is celebrating 50 years on the air. A half century of epic romances, mysterious intrigue, and bitter feuds. Tanya Baca says more on the show's ongoing success and what lies ahead. Through more than 12,500 episodes, over 50 years, you will never get her. The Young and the Restless has taken viewers inside the lives of the residents of Genoa City. To love and comfort you. There's been no shortage of romance, rivalries, or heartbreak. It's just an incredible honor. Uh, it's a real achievement that uh, our show's been this successful this long. Josh Morrow has played Nick Newman for nearly 30 years. Many of the show's actors have remained in their roles for decades. It's just an incredible company and uh, a big giant family and we all, you know, root each other on. The Young and the Restless debuted March 26, 1973 after CBS tasked show creator William Bell with producing a soap that focused on younger characters. Take one. Their first half-hour episode featured disheveled drifter Brad Elliott, who hitched a ride from a trucker. Where you headed? Looks like Genoa City. From there, the stories bloomed. These days revolving around Genoa City's two most prominent families, the Abbots and the Newmans. Through the years, The Young and the Restless has kept generations of viewers engaged through interesting plot twists and groundbreaking and sometimes controversial storylines. The YNR was the first to write a storyline about AIDS. It's also tackled alcoholism, same-sex marriage, sexual harassment, and date rape. You just immediately feel so much pressure to get it accurate. God forbid, again, someone has been through this and they say that's not how it was, then it's all for nothing. And was among the first to embrace diversity University. Brittany Sarpy plays Dr. Elena Dawson. Me coming on set and, and being a minority and being able to represent a culture that's not always on TV or wasn't always on TV is, is really important work. But it's the daily dose of drama that viewers, cast, and crew hope never ends. I grew up watching Young and the Restless with my mom. And so Young and the Restless has always been a part of my life. Where the characters will forever remain young and restless. Donya Vakis, CBS News. Some other actors who've had roles on the show include Tom Selleck, David Hasselhoff, Eva Longoria, Justin Hartley, and Shamar Moore. And tonight, catch Entertainment Tonight's Young and the Restless 50th Anniversary Celebration Special. It airs tonight at 6.30, immediately following News 3 Now at 6. Or you can stream it anytime on Paramount+. Plus. And you can catch the episode at 7 p.m. after Entertainment Tonight. Yeah, CBS, 6.30, yeah. CBS is doing a special at 7 o'clock. Okay, got it. Yeah, that was a little confusing. <laughs> right. <laughs> Entertainment Night airs at 6.30. Right, followed a by a CBS Hour special. Thank you. There at we go. 7 o'clock. A familiar face takes over the box office for the fourth time. Our film critic Will Loper has the weekend box office numbers and suggestions on what to stream when Live at 4 continues. From installation, repairs, and maintenance to complete sewer and drain cleaning, Visit MononaPFP.com. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection, a name you can trust when service is a must. 
For back pain, I've always been a take two and call in the morning guy. But my new doctor recommended Salon Pass. Without another pill upsetting my stomach, I get powerful, effective, and safe relief. Salon Pass, it's good medicine. He sent me to. Do you suffer from chronic or severe back or neck pain? Did you know that there is now a treatment method available right here at Midwest Spine and Nerve Center that offers hope of avoiding spinal surgery for those suffering with bulging, herniated, or degenerative discs? Our therapies help reduce pain related to these conditions and have a high success rate in helping people just like you avoid back or neck surgery. I have experienced low back pain for over 15 years. I had back surgery when I was 26 and had difficulties recovering. The doctors at Midwest Spine and Nerve Center have given me a new lease on life. I am now able to enjoy an active, pain-free lifestyle. Call Midwest Spine and Nerve Center now to schedule a no-obligation consultation to see if our progressive pain-relieving therapies are right for you. severe health complications with my baby when I was pregnant. We made the decision to have an abortion so our daughter wouldn't suffer. Dan Kelly doesn't believe that women should even have that freedom. On the Supreme Court, Dan Kelly will uphold the criminal ban on abortion. Someone you love might struggle with a pregnancy like I did. And that's why we can't have an extremist like Dan Kelly on the Supreme Court. Legends in Concert share tribute artist Lisa McClowry's live on stage. Presented by the Friends of Middleton Performing Arts Center, April 1st. Tickets available now. Update your home's exterior with help from Menards. We have a great selection of siding options to choose from, including vinyl, pre-finished, steel, stone veneer, and more. Protect your home's exterior and save big money. Check out our great selection of premium vinyl siding from Certainty. Choose from a wide variety of colors to add value and curb appeal to your home. Right now, Certainty Main Street Siding is $7.99 per piece after 11% off at Menards. Save big money at Menards. From installation, repairs, and maintenance to complete sewer and drain cleaning, visit MononaPFP.com. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection, a name you can trust when service is a must. While some folks spend another weekend on the couch watching basketball, others headed to the movies. Here with his weekly report on what to watch and what to skip is our Will Loper. Hey, Mark and Susan, John Wick punched and kicked his way to number one, with this fourth entry hitting a franchise best with 73 million. It's a rare sight indeed to see a franchise's opening weekend get better with each successive entry. But John Wick has only grown from 14 million for the first Wick film to 30, then 56, and now over 70. You're going to die. Maybe not. This newest entry finds Keanu Reeves reprising his role as John Wick, now trying to free himself of the world of hitmen once and for all. Who is this? The Marquis de Gramont. Challenge him to single combat. Win or lose, it's a way out. To do so, he must challenge the leader of the high table to a duel. If you win, the table will honor its word. Okay, so that sounds like nonsense. But what we're all really here for is the action. And John Wick 4 delivers, and then some. Countless hitmen try to take Wick down, and he fights back with pistols, nunchucks, and exploding fire bullets. And in the movie's crowning achievement, Wick fights off bad guys in the midst of traffic near a Paris landmark, and the results are truly breathtaking. If you like action, this is a no-brainer. Get your tickets to see John Wick Chapter 4 now. Over on streaming services, new on HBO Max is the fourth and final season of Succession. He's on the floor, Tom. 
Explain me what he's doing. He's moseying, terrifyingly moseying. It's like if Santa Claus was a hitman. Watch the vicious media mogul Roy family be just a little more nasty one last time in the highly acclaimed HBO series. You want to clear the air? You're a snake. You have hurt me more than you can possibly imagine. I have some concerns about your old man. I will sue and I will go public. You point your finger at me, I point my finger at you. Over on Showtime is the second season of Yellow Jackets. Step outside. I thought we left it there when we were rescued, but now I realize we brought it back with us. Melanie Linsky stars in the show about a group of soccer players who crashed in the Canadian wilderness. She's hiding something. Everybody's hiding something. Cause... And new on Apple TV Plus is the series The Big Door Prize. It's not always been there. That thing will tell you your life's potential. Where'd you get it? No idea. It just appeared like magic. Residents in a small town find a strange machine that gives them the chance to achieve their true potential. What's going on? Why is everybody trying to change their lives overnight? We're getting a divorce. The Morpho inspired us. We're live at four. I'm Will Loper. I don't know if I'm happy. Never had to think about it, which was nice, actually. I saw one of those machines in the break room. <laughs> Stay away from it. We have a final check of your forecast coming up. <laughs> severe health complications with my baby when I was pregnant. We made the decision to have an abortion so our daughter wouldn't suffer. Dan Kelly doesn't believe that women should even have that freedom. On the Supreme Court, Dan Kelly will uphold the criminal ban on abortion. Someone you love might struggle with a pregnancy like I did. And that's why we can't have an extremist like Dan Kelly on the Supreme Court. First Choice Dental's got going to the dentist solved. And when you've got 11 convenient neighborhood clinics, you can solve a lot of problems, like helping you get in and get back to your busy day with snap appointments. Schedule your appointment at firstchoicedental.com. Spring is in the air, and you know what that means. It's Feldco season. Feldco season. It means 50% off windows with no money down, no payments, and no interest until 2024. So you can replace those eyesores without breaking the bank. It means getting the windows you want fast, so your home's ready for the warmer weather ahead. It's the season of home renewal. It's Feldco season. 50% off windows ends Friday. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866 for feldco New at 5, the spring election is nearly here. Are you ready to vote? News 3 Now dissects the legal jargon and breaks down the impact of the bail referendum questions on your ballot and what your vote will mean. That's coming up at 5. For over two years, a Sauk County woman paid monthly for a home warranty plan. But after several repair claims, no money reimbursed. You just get kind of put off. Tahlil Mohildin shows you what happened after this disgruntled customer made a call for action. Thursday at 6. Yeah, we're looking at dry conditions through Tuesday. That should be fairly nice. Then we're going to have some snow showers for your Wednesday a.m. commute. Something to keep in mind of. Should be a lot less than an inch expected. And then the wet, breezy, and stormy conditions Thursday night through Friday. That includes an alert day for the possibilities of severe thunderstorms, mainly south. But we also could have some heavy rain. Something to keep in mind of if you have plans going on Friday. Regardless, it's going to be wet and then turns into maybe snow a little bit Saturday. For tonight, just going back down to 26 tomorrow morning. Otherwise, cloudy conditions, not too bad. And like I said, tomorrow, dry 46, snow returns Wednesday, and then the thunderstorms, potentially strong, come in Friday. All right, good, thank you. Just a programming note, a reminder that we will not be on the air tomorrow. The mayoral 
Bill's debate will air in this time slot. That's right. So Wednesday on Live at 4, Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company will be along to take your plant questions. And Consumer Reports asks, are consumers footing the bill for more efficient cars? They have some surprising results. That's coming up Wednesday on Live at 4. An important message for Americans age 50 to 85. How's John? Oh, much better. That was quite a scare. Got us thinking about a lot of things, like life insurance. If something happened to either one of us, we'd really be in trouble. But where can we get coverage with John's health problems on a fixed income? Go with the sure thing, Colonial Pen. Friends have been telling friends about Colonial Pen guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance for more than 50 years, and with good reason. If you're between the ages of 50 and 85, it's a sure thing. Your acceptance is guaranteed because full benefits are not paid in the first two years. You don't need a physical exam, and we won't ask about your health. You cannot be turned down. And the price? Options start at $9.95 a month, less than 35 cents a day. I don't know. What if the price goes up as we get older? With Colonial Pen, your rate is another sure thing. It will never increase. That's because it comes with something you won't find in other policies, a lifetime rate lock. The rate you start with is the one you keep. Guaranteed. And you should know, this coverage can last a lifetime. Some insurance policies end once you reach a certain age. Not this one. As long as you pay your premiums, it's yours for life. Call the number on your screen now, and we'll send you free information by mail. You have nothing to lose, because at Colonial Pen, your satisfaction is another sure thing. Every policy we issue comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you've been thinking about getting life insurance to help your family with funeral expenses and other bills you may leave behind, Call for free information today. There's no obligation, and you'll receive a free beneficiary planner just for calling. Same time next week? Sure thing. Call 1-800-248-6940 for your free information and your free beneficiary planner. That's 1-800-248-6940. There's no obligation. 1-800-248-6940. Call now. A man brutally attacked and sexually assaulted a woman. The victim spent endless nights unable to sleep, plagued by nightmares. Judge Janet Protasewicz called the offender many females' worst nightmare, but she cut his sentence to only two and a half years in prison. Judge Janet's dangerous judgment puts our families at risk. That's why sheriffs throughout Wisconsin support Dan Kelly. He's the only candidate we can trust to keep violent felons off our streets. On April 4th, vote Justice Dan Kelly. Fair Course America is responsible for the content of this advertising. In today's final touch, the infamous so-called fire-breathing demon dog <laughs> is getting another chance. Hopefully, the fourth time is a charm. Ralphie is a one-year-old, 26-pound French bulldog described by a New York shelter as, quote, a terror in a somewhat small package. <laughs> the Niagara SPCA says it finally found a perfect adopter for him after he was returned three times. Hopefully, Ralphie's new owner, Jason, can handle the pup. It's his profession, after all. Jason trains dogs for the Department of Energy in Tennessee. Before Ralphie went home with Jason, the dog completed a six-week boarding and training program. It helped with his relatively his getting along with other dogs, which is good because Jason already has a French bulldog, a dachshund, and a German shepherd. Jason says the reformed canine is now getting acquainted with his new pack. Good luck, Ralphie. One more time. That's our time for now. We'll see you back here on Wednesday. News 3 Now at 5 starts right now.